Okay, so I've scoured the internet and these are my personal best picks for the best motherboards for GPU mining. So the first one on our list is the ASRock H61 Pro BTC. So this is the motherboard that basically come out and wiped the floor or showed everyone else how to make a good motherboard for Bitcoin mining or specifically GPU mining. Uh, back then, um, this motherboard is actually a few years old and it was actually designed for Bitcoin slash Litecoin mining. Um, since then, it's put a few years on, so it is a little bit aged, uh, this motherboard itself. You might not be able to find them new, probably more likely you'll be able to find only a used one. So search around for used hardware stores or eBay is probably a good option for you. It comes in around about £40 um, from what I've seen uh, used. The motherboard has one full size 16 times PCI Express port and five one times PCI Express expansion ports. It's got an Intel H61 chipset. The motherboard supports socket 1155, so that covers a broad range of Intel CPUs. Probably the best options for it on the CPU basis will probably be like a dual core Celeron, something like that would be a good match with this board. Okay, next up we have the ASRock H81 Pro BTC. So this is a updated and revised version of the previous board I've just mentioned, the H61. It's virtually identical barring a updated socket and updated uh, chipset. So firstly, this is uh, easily available, um, new from eBay, Amazon and other online uh, retailers. You're looking about £60 for this board. As before, it has one full-sized 16 times PCI Express slot and five one times PCI Express slots. Uh, as already mentioned, it's the Intel H81 chipset, but this one supports socket 1150s CPUs. Okay, so this motherboard is probably going to be the one that a lot of people are going to be going for. It's one that is price right, readily available. It has all the features that you would want. Um, so this one is probably going to be the best motherboard for most people, I would expect. Next up, we have the ASRock B85 Anniversary. I decided to include this one uh, because it's very similar to the previous two motherboards. In fact, the uh, ASRock H81 Pro BTC, this motherboard is almost identical to each other. Uh, the only difference between the two really is the styling and the B85 has extra memory capacity. So it has an extra two DIMM slots and it also has an extra two serial ATA connections. Um, but other than that, it's very, very similar. So the ASRock B85 Anniversary comes in around about £60. It has one full size 16 times PCI Express slot and also five one times PCI Express slots as well. Uh, the chipset is the Intel B85 and this one also supports socket 1150 CPUs. Uh, as before, it covers a wide range of Intel processors and you're probably gonna be wanted to go for one of the lower end Celeron or perhaps i3 processors. You can see those um, cheap as well as. Okay, this one is the Gigabyte F2A88X D3H. It was actually really difficult to find a good AMD board for GPU mining. Um, this particular board is the one I actually have in my twin 280X system. So I'm very familiar with this motherboard itself. Um, but like I say, trying to find good AMD boards with um, an array of expansion ports, uh, PCI Express expansion ports is actually really quite tricky. Um, they are out there, but you do have to look around for them and they are a little bit trickier um, to find. And um, sometimes they can also be priced a little bit more um, as well as. Um, but this is the one that I sort of uh, found, um, one that I've also personally used and, and one that I'm uh, recommending, it's a really good board. So the price comes in at starting level at about £65, but the price in this uh, did vary quite a bit. Um, I see them up to as much as about £85, so really expect £65 is probably going to be your baseline um, cost. Uh, with this board, it supports two full-size 16 times PCI Express connectors and three one times PCI Express connectors. 
So all the other boards up until this point have all had six PCI Express expansion ports and this one has just a five. Um, so take note of that, you're losing one expansion port um, even though you're paying a little bit of a premium on the price. Uh, the chipset is the AMD A88X and it supports FM2 processors. Um, in one of my systems I've used the A10-7700K which is a actually slightly higher end processor but you can use the A4-4000 Trinity processors um, in this and they are uh, really quite cheap. You should be looking about £20-£25 just for the processor so this motherboard and a cheap processor combination um, can work really well together. Okay, so this last one is actually a bit of a wild card. I kind of um, discovered it almost by chance, really just looking for my own personal needs, just literally in the last um, day or two. So I had some older components. Uh, specifically, I had a old 775 um, CPU. A, I've actually got a few, two of them. One is a Celeron uh, E5300 and that's a socket 775 processor. I also had some extra DDR2 RAM as well as. So this is like I say it's a wild card and if you're on a really tight budget or you're considering maybe using used parts to put a mining rig together this will probably be a really good match for you. So this is the Asus P5N 32-E SLI. The main feature of this particular board is, um, I've picked the actual Asus one just to sort of share with you in this example, but it, the motherboard has the NVIDIA 680i chipset. And this chipset is a really good uh, chipset. It's really designed for gamers. So you can find this motherboard in various branded options. So they come in Gigabyte, EVGA, and also XFX was another one that I see. Um, and they all look like really good motherboards and all had basically the same set of features. So with this Asus one, it has three full-size 16 times Express PCI Express ports and two one times PCI Express ports. So that gives you a total of five to work with, which is uh, quite a nice uh, combination. Like I said, the chipset is the Nvidia 618 and that's really designed for gamers so you're going to get actually pretty good performance out of this board even though it is quite old. Uh, because it is old the actual uh, socket is a Intel 775 um, as with the other sockets uh, from the Intel range it does provide a wide range of uh, CPUs that you can use uh, but the best ones would be probably the lower end Celerons, the E5300 uh, for example would be a, a good option. Um, to use with this one. So this one is just like an outlier but I thought I'd include it because I probably might be picking one up soon and combining it with some older parts. Okay so that just about wraps it up for this video. Hopefully you've uh, learned something and you've uh, enjoyed watching. This was me sharing with you what I thought would make an excellent uh, motherboard for GPU mining. So hopefully you found this information useful. Um, if you have any questions or comments, um, please leave those in the comments box below. If you've got any other ideas on which you think makes a for a good GPU mining motherboard, um, include that in the comments as well. I'd love to see what you guys are using and how you're using the actual hardware, what's working well for you and all that kind of stuff. So thanks for watching. Till next time, take care.